Hi everyone, it's Margaret here uh, to share a new journal project that I've just completed. Uh, this is called Victorian Rose and it was inspired by the um, old Victorian photo albums um, that I see from time to time at antique markets. My husband and I like to go antiquing and I often see these um, gorgeous uh, photo albums, Victorian photo albums, and most of the time they're in a bit of, of rough shape, um, but I have seen them and I love them, and so the inspiration for this album came from that. And as you can see, the front cover um, is a Victorian rose lady, and what I've done here is I've taken a gorgeous uh, picture from an artist called Angelo Asti. I've been following art for many years and um, I have narrowed down a few of uh, favorite artists that I, that I really love and often use um, for my projects. This particular one is from Angelo Asti and he does all these beautiful Victorian ladies with the cascading hair and I just love them. I love the color in the, in the uh, portraits and uh, in this particular one, um, the cover is actually a, I don't know if you'll get the proper color, but it is um, almost like a, a moss green velvet. And this uh, cover, the fabric that I use, was actually from a handbag that I purchased. And I took it apart and left all the existing uh, ruffles in it um, and the ruching and it, and it just came out really pretty. I really love the base of it for the fabric journal. So that's what I have used in this project. So I took the, um, the picture of the beautiful lady and framed her in this uh, little trim. And then I had some uh, crystal um, accent pieces which I used on the top and the bottom. And again, I don't know if you can see it in the... Um, in the video but it adds so much sparkle and, and it's just so pretty to look at. In the corner here I've embellished it with a handmade rose. Um, this bow was actually part of the handbag so I I cut it down, reduced the size of it for the corner with the, with the little rosette and this little trim here was actually on a ladies uh, t-shirt and I loved it because it's got these tiny little roses on the stem of, um, uh, of green ribbon. So it looked really beautiful on this particular project. So I embellished the, um, the top and the, um, with some uh, trim. And here I used a sparkly um, goldish um, uh, trim, which, uh, which suits the cover of, of the album. And um, a little bit of tassel trim on the bottom Lots of uh, vintage um, trims on this one because I wanted to get the old effect and uh, it came out pretty pretty nice. Again here you can see the, the little dangle trim with the little flowers and teardrop dangles here. Now the spine of the journal, again I used the, some of the existing uh, ruffle um, from the um, the handbag and made little base um, a little base ruffle um, under each handmade rosette that I used on the spine in keeping with the uh, the Victorian rose theme and the back is again you can see it's just the um, the plain um, uh, velvet fabric with the existing ruching and the ruffles the tassels and lace and um, that came in in really handy it just worked really well with with this journal we'll get to the um, on oh, a little tassel in the corner here that I just added now we'll get to the first page now as you can see this again is another Victorian lady of Angelo Asti She's gorgeous with a big, beautiful rose in her hair. And um, again, I used some vintage um, doilies to cut out some crocheted flowers, some trim at the top. Um, and this, I layered a bunch of um, 
uh, a bunch of uh, cut out uh, crocheted flowers from doilies and the base is actually inspired by Trisha. I love your flowers Trisha and I used the base as um, part of this particular flower and it, and it came out really pretty. A little bit of fringe here, a little bit of uh, dangle scraps that I had just to add a little bit of interest on that page and there it is, a little bit of pearls and there she is. The next page again same artist she's she's really gorgeous actually again I don't know if you can see the colors in this journal but in in the picture but it, it's absolutely beautiful it, it just picks up the rose and the greens and it just really complements the the theme of this uh, of this journal so again I've used her in the center with a little bit of cut out trims to uh, accent her and on the top I've used a um, a, a trim that had uh, a lot of uh, existing pearls on it and I've added that on the top again uh, I have still a few of those little flowers uh, that had the pearls and the rhinestones on it that I had cut out from a lady's top used it here on the top another little one here um, some tassel trim on the bottom and a nice gold and then another one on top it's a different type that's got the uh, the gold in it so try to give a little bit of contrast on the side here instead of using a trim I've I've used a gorgeous uh, applique um, and that's how I finish the side of this page you'll see layers and layers of, uh, of dangle here I still have a little bit of this dangle trim that I love and then layers and layers of of a crochet uh, doily that I uh, took apart and used on the bottom. I mean, it's just jam-packed with, with layers. And it really adds to the beauty uh, and the richness of the, of the page. So that's that page. Next page, again, lots and lots of uh, doily goodies on this one. Um, tried to keep the vintage theme um, some of these uh, gorgeous flowers I'm running out I'll be sad but here they are again and this is a like an old um, um, ribbon uh, ribbon flower that I took off a lady's top again added these little flowers in the center and then I took a, a contrasting color doily cut it up and created these rows of uh, ruffles here there's four rows of ruffles here to give it a little bit of richness and um, again the the bottom has layers and layers of um, doilies and trims and here again I put a little bit of uh, yummy dangles on this particular page using some um, doily scraps a little bit of uh, seam binding I love these little curly cues. Still have a little bit of that left, so I always like to add a little bit of that. And then I made some uh, rosettes out of uh, some beautiful colored rose silk. And silk is the best fabric to work with, it, especially for flowers. It's so forgiving. It keeps its shape, and it's it's just a pleasure to work with with uh, with that. So in the center of each rosette, I had these little vintage rhinestone buttons they look a little bit tattered and old so I thought that would look really nice on the rosette and again uh, the picture of the beautiful lady with the roses this particular uh, picture is from Emil Vernon he's another one of my favorites I love his work and uh, I found this image um, and she's uh, she's gorgeous with the gorgeous roses and so that found a spot on this page the next page again I just layered a lot of uh, doilies vintage doilies that I had layers and layers of them and I added this little um, accent piece like a Battenberg lace that I cut out snipped out and it, it had been dyed with avocado so it's got a beautiful rose color to it in the center I've used again some 
um, cut out uh, doilies for the roses, the, the flower uh, accent in the middle. And then this is a mother of pearl um, old button and it even has a little tiny chip in it. And I thought, well, why not? It's an old, it's supposed to look old. Uh, it's old uh, vintage doily, so why not? We'll really make it um, look old. So I added that in because I didn't, I didn't want to just leave it in my uh, button box. I really love that button. I added a little tassel again here, some little uh, um, dangle rope trim here in the corner, uh, just to add a little bit of interest again. And again, layers and layers of, uh, this particular one is uh, uh, from a curtain. And then underneath there's some lace and underneath that there's vintage um, doily uh, cutouts as well. Um, added a, a little rolled flower out of, um, I guess it was like a, a netting type of trim that I had gotten off a, again, a, a doily. So I use that to create this little rose in the corner. The next page, again, this is a, an Angelo Asti lady. She's gorgeous. And um, uh, what I did was I um, uh, did a, a trim around her with a piece from a curtain. Again, it was a... Um, uh, a curtain that had this uh, embroidery in it. It was a little bit tricky to cut out, but if you follow the uh, the stitching line very closely and you don't go over the line, it won't unravel. And this came out really pretty, so I layered um, a couple of these uh, on top of each other, and then the same um, the same embroidery. I cut out um, these floral pieces here and put one on top of each other there. Uh, another variation of the same over here um, and it looks really pretty again some vintage trim on the top some flowers some dangle trim on the bottom of this page with the lace and the uh, oh threads and um, the doily again here this is a beautiful doily it actually looks like little roses so I I thought that would look really nice and then I, uh, I used, um, I made a little bow, again with another gorgeous rose. I had a little bit of uh, a string of uh, the uh, Aurora Borealis type uh, rhinestones that I used to create a little bit of sparkle. And a little um, old brooch that, um, again, in the Aurora Borealis type uh, crystals. And it gives it a beautiful, beautiful sparkle. I just love that. So I don't know how much you can see, but that's that page of course the final page the pocket page uh, layers and layers of lace one on top of each other here I love lace um, because it's a Victorian uh, theme I thought the lace would be very appropriate to use and this pocket page actually uh, I used a, a green uh, a green fabric base a moss green it's very pretty I put the lace on top, which softened it up a little bit. Actually has three pockets in here. One back here, and the next layer, and then the next layer. So you can store some cards or love letters or whatever, whatever you want. Um, I made a, a like a fan ruffle on top in a, a another another type of lace, but in the same color added this ribbon rose in the corner, another mother of pearl button in the, uh, in the corner here, and my favorite vintage golden pearl trim to accent the bottom of it. So, some dangles here again on the, uh, on the side. So there you have it, my Victorian rose journal. Once again, I love, love, love making these. I could make one a day, but I'm afraid that, uh, uh, you know, I have to uh, take it easy a bit because I, um, I'm getting to the point where I'm spending so much time in my craft room that when it comes to cook and clean and all do, to do all those things that I need to do, it's becoming a burden for me. So I have to find that nice balance in my life so that I don't alienate any family members, if you know what I mean. So 
anyway, there she is, and um, I hope you like it, and I'm always happy to hear your, your comments. So thank you very much for watching again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.